So the first thing we're going to do this evening is have <laughs> Devin and Amy, who are wearing some lovely chapeaus, uh, mix up a few cocktails for us to kick off the evening. So what are you mixing up tonight? So drinking is bringing us joy. So we're actually <laughs> going to do two cocktails tonight. <laughs> Uh, the first one we're going to start with is called the Corpse Reviver number two. I didn't realize it before this, but there are like different numbers of Corpse Revivers. I think it's kind of like Pim's Cup where there's Pim's one, two, depending on what the liquor is. We're doing number two. My assistant will get my glasses that have been chilling in the freezer. So they have that nice frosty look to them. And I will admit, I pre-mixed some of this just so that it wouldn't take so much time, but I'm going to kind of go through and show you what I did. So. Absinthe to rinse in the glasses. I kind of put it in, swirled it around, went back and forth. Uh, you don't want a lot, it's just a touch. We have a huge bottle of absinthe because our daughter went to school in New Orleans and we drink a lot of Cesarex. Uh, so in here, <laughs> you take a shot of gin. And I have to show you this, it's called Prohibition Gin. It is the cutest bottle. I bought it completely on just from the bottle because I'm a sucker for this. Shot of gin, and this makes one drink. Shot of gin, shot of orange liqueur. I used Cointreau. You can use Grand Marnier. You can use uh, Curacao, Triple Sec, any of those. Um, a shot of Lille, or we were at Junior's Bar, and they had this Kochi Americano. So I was really thrilled that we were able to find that. So I used a shot of that, and then a shot of fresh lemon juice. Put it in a shaker. Gonna shake it. Yeah. Demo does most of the shaking in the house because I get tired and he insists on shaking longer than I normally would. <laughs> All right, it gets loud now. in the United States where can you buy absinthe I thought it was illegal or am I just making that up it's legal now <laughs> so you're right it was illegal and it's they, they've made it legal and uh Devin thought we were getting a little teeny tiny bottle and got this huge one which I think will probably last the rest of our lives <laughs> so you right. can buy that you can buy that anywhere how do you shake it with ice it gives it a nice nice froth okay so you can use any martini sort of glasses. I really like these. They're a little bit etched. They look very elegant for me. And here's a little bit of orange. So I'm using these mandarins that came in and I'm actually using enough, not just the peel, a little bit of the orange as well. So for that one, drop it in. Ah, oh, there went our knife. The blood knife <laughs> that killed the pineapple. Cheers. 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 Cheers, everybody. Oh, man, that is good. That's going to be hard to wait. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that was the classy drink of the evening. The next drink is going to be the trashy, trashy drink of the evening. Paige was very skeptical of this. <laughs> so the recipe is very easy. <laughs> You take a cup and a half of vodka, a cup of candy corn, of which I was able to find Brock's in Singapore this year for, I think, the first time ever. I love the way that the recipe says this because it says infuse the candy corn in the vodka for four hours. So I did that. <laughs> it looks disgusting when it's infusing because all the wax is coming off and it kind of looks like stag lights and really gross. Then you, after four hours, you strain it, get what's left of the candy, throw it out, and then chill it. So I have my nice little thing here. I'm going to stir it up a little bit because it's been sitting for a little while. So again, cup and a half of vodka, cup of uh, candy corn. That's the infusion. 
All right. So I need the shakers again. So I tried this as well. And if anybody wants to see a photo, I have the photo that Amy did um, of the candy corn wax coming off into the vodka. That's on the website if you want to see it. Yeah, it's cute. I love candy corn. I'm dumping the concoction. And this makes, it said, uh, three drinks. Three very generous drinks. OK. Actually, that was a little bit too much, so. Yeah. Yep. And then the recipe calls for pineapple juice. I got this juice that you can find in almost any of the grocery stores here. It's pineapple, lime, lemon, and apple, because I thought pineapple was going to be a little bit too sweet. So it's three quarters of a cup of the pineapple juice. I give it to Devin to do the shaking again. Sounds disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> it actually it tastes like the creamsicles, so those orange things with ice cream in the middle when you were little. I don't know if they make those anymore, but it's kind of a one drink sort of thing. One drink is like, this is really yummy. Anything more than that, I think would be sweetness overload, but this was surprisingly good. I oh, did try to like put the candy corn on the little toothpicks and things to make it look really festive and had no luck and got really frustrated putting the toothpicks through the candy corn and kept falling apart. So sorry, I gave that up. Here's what it looks like. Very orange, very Halloween-y. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so people were asking, I put the link up in the chat for the lovely candy corn cocktail uh, <laughs> recipe and the photos. It's and good. It's a matter of taste. <laughs> where you can get candy corn in Singapore, which I have not seen before. I've seen it at Cold Storage. I've seen it at Tangwood Marketplace. So that's been exciting. It is. It's nice because they always had like off-brand candy corn before. You know, yeah. it was there, but it wasn't real candy corn. Well, <laughs> Brax candy corn that will make your teeth hurt. Yeah. And we will also put up the link to the Corpse Survivor that will drop tomorrow morning. So you can check out the website for that with Amy's Corpse Survivor tomorrow morning. And there's lots of other cocktails from Devin and Amy on the theater website. So check that out. Thank you both. Cheers. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye.